Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another installment. Today we actually have a really special gift. Um, Gigabyte has been so gracious to provide us with a workstation-based server board. And this is a really interesting board because it's a 2011-3 socket. Um, but what's really interesting is that it provides SLI three-way SLI in full 16x mode. So, any of you who know what that means, um, you know, it's a big deal. Um, so, with further ado, let's open up our box. Um, so, here we have the Gigabyte board with its uh, wrapping. And it's the Gigabyte MW50. SV0. I'm not so sure that the SV0 matters. This is a ridiculous board. So, number one. So, we, here we are. The Gigabyte. MW50. Um, as you can see, it supports eight DIMMs. DDR4. Um, looks like there's a really nice jokes and MOSFETs here. Um, let's just get a look at this guy. And holy sad of that man. You know, and then we still have some legacy down here. I wonder, this is probably on our Marvel controller or a separate uh, SATA controller. So, as I understand it, there should be 12 or so. An M.2 port, and as you can see, the full 16x PCI Express risers. Um, another interesting note of this board: there's also there's actually a dongle that you could get. It's an extension card, and I want to say it's for Wi-Fi. Um, but you have a lot of fan header controls. Without reading the manual, hmm, it's interesting. A lot of interesting stuff on this board. Um, it does have three full gigabit uh, ports uh, four native PCI, sorry, uh, USB 2 and four native USB 4 or USB 3. I'm on, cr I'm on crack today. Um, another really interesting note of this board is it's got ser the serial interface. Now I'm sure you could use any third party driver and run. Uh, you know, serial pro serial software from here. Um, serial debugger uh, would be would come to mind. Um, okay, well that's a cool board. Let's see what else we got in the package. Uh, it was packed really well, I gotta say. Very surprised as far as the quality um, of the prosumer. That manual. Look at that manual. Are you kidding me? Have you ever seen? Uh, you know, granted it's in like 14 languages, but I mean, dude, this is a serious manual for serious users. You can already tell that this is a feature packed board. Um, a bunch of stuff. Um, this is going to be a three way SLI bridge. That's really cool. Wow. It's a three-way SLI. This isn't going to be the new new style, but yeah. Um, we do have two crossbar cables. I'm not, I'm not an AMD ATI guy, but it's nice to know. Nice to see that included. A uh, pretty decent two-way SLI splitter. A lot of this stuff isn't going to be brought in, huh? And this is interesting. Hmm. Anybody knows what this is for? Definitely put it in the comments. I'll figure it out soon enough. Well, when I figure it out, I'll update. But what could that possibly be? Somebody in the somebody watching is going to call me an absolute idiot. But I've been working on these things for my whole life. I've never seen something like that included. 
Maybe it's a lock of some kind. This is a SATA cable. There's two of them in there. Wow. One's a 90 degree. And a lock. Focus, man. That's actually pretty nice for, for this just a, a included cable. I mean. Alright. That's a pretty decent. Wow. Um, when was the last time you saw a serial port on the back plate of a, of a board? <laughs> Three lands. And oh, that's it. And then we get our software disk. Um, server workstation. Motherboard LGA 2011. Uh, so. That's cool. That's really nice. Um, now, as interesting as that is, um, you know, what CPU would we be running in this? Uh, something just as more, just as powerful as the board itself. Um, yeah, that question get answered here shortly. Do our best here and get it all back together. Uh, I wonder if it was a machine that put that together. Alright, so here we'll just put our packaging back in there. <coughs> it's good enough. Sorry about my lighting, guys. It's not very good. Alright. Um, let's start our CPU. Let's see what we're going to do with it. Now, the CPU we have planned comes in a special package like this. I'm wondering how many of you guys have actually received something quite like this. Um, Intel CPU. Um, yes, fragile, we know. Uh, without destroying anything. Four six four eight Xeon V three twelve core twenty four thread. Behemoth monster. Um, I'm not sure what the these are retailing at now. I want to say they were they're sitting at about three grand. Beautiful chip, absolutely beautiful chip. One thing we are waiting for our RAM to show up. And, um, you know, I really don't like waiting for RAM. But, um, so at the moment, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, sitting there saying, dude, this guy, I haven't put one of these in for a long, long time. Of course. Of course. I mean, that's, you know, that's, you know. Ah, guys, you're gonna fuck it up. You know, we 
go. So here we have installed our CPU LGA 2011 V3. Neon E54648V3. That's a powerhouse monster. Now this definitely will help us and provide us with some really needed workstation tools as well as being a basis for a new uh, machine. That'd just be a monster. And, uh, embedded it's self-contained unit. And with that, when we, uh, when we have a better update, I'll show you. But, um, you know, we do plan on the H80. Um, for all those of you who like water cooling, um, this will be in a We will put it on. We'll have an update shortly. When we have our case, RAM, stick our CPU cooler on, and get it fired up. We can show you exactly what uh, we have planned with this thing. If anybody's looking for something like this, this kind of power, this kind of board, um, I've been a Gigabyte buyer now for my whole life. I really do like the quality of their boards, and um, yeah, Intel all the way, but. Um, Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.